to. You know, before when it was us, we was we was shooting it down like hey, you you a crackhead, like you know what I'm saying, like hey, you a hoe. <laughs> But, that, but we didn't have no money. If, if, if at that time they was throwing money at at, at the whole image or the, the drug image, it would have, you know, it would it, they would have been doing this a long time ago. But now they they finally like okay, the, the blacks is getting too conscious and they putting conscious pressure on each other and they raising the standards of morality and all of that. Only thing that supersedes that with with hungry Negroes is if if, if you get money, money will break all of that. Up. Right, money will break up the struggle. Everybody was, you know. Black power, black power until white people came in and offered them some jobs. Yeah, offer you some money. Okay, well, I ain't really pushing the black power thing. I'm, re- I'm not really mad no more. Right. You know, we equal. Barack Obama is the president. You know, we we reached the, prom- the promised land. It, it's not racism no more because they throwing money at, at the, you know, they throwing a bag at me now. <laughs> so that's how they do it. That's how they do it. They, right. they make it legal and make it seem like it's okay and legal. It's like we now. They just was they was locking us up for the last fifty years or however many years. Now weed is legal. Now weed is legal. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's about whatever they want to say is 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 legal and whatever they want to put money behind. Right. Then we gonna do it like it's okay. And Yesterday I- was it was it was a shame. Today is it's the it's the the wave, it's the thing to do. Right, yes, sir. Yeah, because hardly you hear people overdosing and dying and stuff like that growing up when I was young. Um, but I but I do say that there are um is uh pros as far as you know this generation of music because a lot of youth, it seemed like a lot of youth in this generation are not signing these deals anymore. You know, so a lot of them are going indie, they're using social media uh to push their brands. Um, and then, you know, they got the 360 deals and stuff like that. So kind of, can you kind of give us some insight on the 360 and going indie and what's the difference? 360 is slavery. See, 360 is worse than the deals that we had. So that's 360 is what you don't want. It's worse and than indie, the deal than y'all had? Oh yeah. Yeah. 360 means that they, they <laughs> you know, the labels or whoever owns, any, you know, 360 means a circle of, in any sphere of money that you're making because they they help push you and make you famous, you owe them. You got to pay them. If you're making movies, you got to pay them. If you're doing uh, club appearances, you got to pay them. You're doing concerts, you got to pay them. You got to pay that, that that label that you signed to. Right. You can't, you can't do your own thing. That's that's the opposite of independent. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, so, yeah. so and an independent artist... You will be able to buzz and bubble off of, off of social media until you get on their radar. Then they go, oh, oh, he bubbling. Then they go offer you a way bigger bag than you was already getting. And with that bag comes a redirecting of your your content. Now they're going to control your content and you're going to be over there uh, future pop, pill popping and Nicki Minaj. Good point. You know what I'm saying? Good point. So I don't know nobody like that. I don't know... Like everybody is independent because they're not getting signed. But once they, they they buzz and get to the point where they on the radar and they you know they got a big buzz and the labels is checking for them, they sign into labels. They sign into labels. Label ain't gonna sign you unless you on their agenda anyway. So you must already be doing some self destructive lyrics or an image that's feminine, or you you wearing a dress, or you doing. So you you already dissing your sisters or something. They're not offering you no no deal if you're not doing that. Yes, sir. Great point. And also, you know, to touch on uh, like youngsters um, who has really taken off with the social media and you know what I'm saying, and social media taking their career to the next level, like Takashi Six Nine. You know, the brother he started off, you know, trolling people. You know what I mean. So my question is, you know, what do you think of? Uh, Takashi Six Nine whole situation, you know, like him firing his whole um, his team and uh, how they were stealing money from him and how he's kind of facing the RICO Act and you know what are your thoughts? Yeah, well, he started off on the negative. He started off trolling, you know what I'm saying, which is already negative because <laughs> our people is like swine. We just like mess and filth and smoke and drama and beef. So the same with how 50 Cent started, like how to rob an R&B singer. Like he, he followed that same program. That, that's already a, 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 
a doomed foundation. If your foundation is on that, is on trolling and beefing, um, then and then you try to mix that with gang banging, and you're not even really from no gang place. That's that's what I call Fed bait. That's federal bait. Mm. That's FBI bait. You know what I'm saying? Because all you doing is like it's like the same formula of Tupac and Biggie and that whole West Coast thing, but it's it's more ingredients involved. It's his rainbow hair, which is bringing the the, the homosexuals into it. He's Mexican, which is bringing the, the black and brown beef into it. He's claiming blood, which is bringing the blood and crip thing into it. He's from the East Coast, which is bringing the East Coast and West Coast thing into it. That's so much different ingredients of fed bait wrapped up in one. And then he's backed up by dude, um, his, his supposed to be big homie that's locked up with him, um, Shoddy. Right. I got him on my... You know, I, I pulled it down. He slipped up and said something he shouldn't have said, and probably why they 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 clamped on him right now because he he let it fly out of his mouth that um, <clears throat> him and his his crew, the, the Treyway is 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 backed up by the Israeli Mossad. Wait, 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 and academic was like, man, you know, all this shit that Takashi is saying, you know, talking real bad about real gang members and y'all going, I hope y'all moving like a military. I hope y'all moving 50 deep and break out 50 niggas with y'all. And then um, uh, Shadi was like, I'm just going to tell you like this, that uh, we got the, we got the uh, Israeli ex, ex Israeli or Israeli Mossad on our side. Fully loaded. We fully loaded. We ain't worried about that. Oh, we that's got, crazy. Uh, Treyway is Israeli Mossad. So he said that. That's why wow. they clamped him because, right now because, it, you know, I'm sure he might not even live to, to see trial because that's going to have to come to trial. Like, why did you say you got to, who is the Israeli Mossad that you got on your side that you say is backing y'all up with weapons? Right. Right. This, 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 this New York blood gang called Treyway, all of a sudden you saying that the Israeli Mossad is backing y'all up with we weapons and y'all fully loaded. But the but the so called one of the you know Israeli Mossad is is the owner of that label. The owner of their label is Granger or something like that. I forgot right, the name, right, but he's right. a, his, uh, his, Elliot his Gra father, Granger. His, Granger. Yeah, Elliot Granger. His, his father supposedly, from what I heard or read, is is the owner of Universal Music Group. Oh wow! You know what I'm saying the, the label Universal Records. Right. So those is the Israelis that's backing him up. So why oh, would he say, why wouldn't he just say, you know, I got Universal Records backing me up. I got, he specifically said we got, and it, it was regarding weapons and beef and, and violence and protection. Like he was like, no, I'm not worried about it. We got an army. We got the Israeli Messiah right. on our side. Fully, and I would, we fully loaded. And I was just listening to Brothers uh, Breakfast Club interview and he was like, he was saying to um to the Breakfast Club crew that he was like, you know, can't nobody touch me. You know what I'm saying? I'm invincible. Can't no because I know how strong my team is. And he was like, the only way that you'll be able to touch me is if you are already next to me. So that kind of explains yeah, why he that, would make a still statement on a, that still way. On a dumb, yeah, he still was on a dumb little dude level because um he don't realize one of the main reasons that his his camp thing got shut down was the shoddy dude. And it wasn't because that shoddy was just trying to supposedly beat him for two million dollars or take you know much skimming money off the top. Right. It was that it was that shit that he said about the Israeli side. Watch watch what I say, man. Hey, that, hey, that's because crazy. that's the Fed. Right. The the, the the feds the feds are controlled by Israel. They control Israeli Mossad is the CIA of Israel. Great it's point. not the JDL, some little shit. It's the actual intelligence ag agency. The Mossad, Israeli Mossad is the CIA of Israel. That's crazy. So they control the FBI. They control the politicians in America. So they had to shut 